Loops are often used when developing applications in the Python programming language. Let's take a closer look at the for loop, which is a frequently used loop in this video, with all its features. You can download and develop the source codes of the project in this video from the Turtle Code GitHub account. Before starting the project, you can support us by following the Turtle Code YouTube channel and other social media accounts. The for loop is often used with lists. Let's do an example with lists and the for loop. First, let's create a list called fruits. Let's add three fruits to this list. Then, let's create a for loop and print the fruits in the list on the console screen using the print command. Run the code. We can use the for loop to print the members of the lists on the console screen using certain constraints. The break and continue commands are frequently used in the for loop. Now let's make an example with the break command. When the break command is used, the loop termination command is given. If the variable x in the loop becomes watermelon the loop will be terminated. Run the code and try. In this example, when the variable x equals the watermelon member of the list, the loop is terminated and the tangerine member of the list is not printed to the console screen. Let's use the break command before the print command and take a closer look. Run the code. Because the break command was used before the print command, the for loop was terminated without printing the member when the x variable equals the watermelon member of the list. Now let's make an example using the continue command in the same example. Run the code. In the for loop, when the x variable is equal to the watermelon member of the list, that part of the loop is skipped and the tangerine member is printed on the console screen. The for loop is often used with string variables. Now let's do an example with a for loop using string. Run the code. Here the string expression is treated as a list and the for loop works with this logic. We can generate consecutive numbers using the for loop. The range function is used to generate consecutive numbers. For example, let's use this code to print numbers between 0 and 5 on the console screen. Run the code. Instead of 0, we can print the numbers between the two numbers we have determined on the console screen. For this, send two values to the range function. In the range function, we can print the values between two numbers on the console screen according to the increase rate we have determined. For this, send three values to the range function. Run the code. Together with the for loop, the else structure used in the if query is often used. When the else loop is used with the for loop, it becomes active when the loop ends. Run the code. When the for loop was completed, the else structure became active and we printed a text on the console screen indicating that the for loop was finished. Also, when we use the break loop here, the for loop is terminated before the else structure becomes active since the break loop is used before the else structure. Now let's do another example. Let's create two lists denoting adjectives and fruits. We can print these two lists as nested for loops on the console screen. Create a for loop for the list of adjectives. Then create another for loop inside the for loop for the fruit list. Print the two variables specified in the for loops using the print command. Run the code. Don't forget to do other examples to better understand the nested for loop working structure. Finally, it is sometimes useful to use the for loop without code. But in this case the code will throw an error. The error is this undesirable situation that terminates the program. To solve this error, it is necessary to use the pass command in for loops created without using code. In this way, we can run the code without errors. In this video, we examined all aspects of the for loop, which is frequently used in the Python programming language. If you have any questions let me know in the comments. You can also support us by subscribing to the Turtle Code YouTube channel and other social media accounts.